from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. In the Motion Picture and Recorded Sound Research Centers at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., anyone can enjoy digital motion pictures or sound recordings from the nearly five million collection items. But the items aren't played from anywhere in the DC building. They're served over a fiber optic cable from a facility 75 miles away in Culpeper, Virginia. The Library of Congress Packard Campus for Audiovisual Conservation sits on 45 acres near the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. The state-of-the-art facility, spread over 415,000 square feet, houses the world's largest and most comprehensive collections of motion pictures, audio recordings, and radio and television broadcasts. Within the center, over 150 climate-controlled vaults protect flammable nitrate film, modern safety film, and sound and video collections on scores of obsolete formats, as well as computer servers and data tape libraries. The Packard campus has acquired over 120 years worth of audio-visual history, including 3.4 million sound recordings and 1.3 moving image items, including film, television, video, as well as video games. The Packard campus is designed from top to bottom to optimize preservation production for all media formats. And it's designed to transition from analog preservation to digital preservation for all audiovisual materials. Each digital item gets assigned technical, descriptive, and administrative metadata before it enters production to help quickly locate the file once it's archived. Digital files are created from a range of analog media including nitrate and safety film, sound recordings on cylinder disc and magnetic media, videotapes in open reel and cassette formats, and recordable CDs and DVDs. The center has three preservation laboratories for film, for sound, and for video recordings that are undertaking groundbreaking work in digital conversion, as well as an extensive born digital acquisitions infrastructure. A number of preservation technologies were specifically invented for the Culpeper facility, including new digital scanning and imaging systems and robotic reformatting technologies. Custom-built film scanners preserve more than 3,000 titles in the library's paper print collection of the earliest surviving American films that exist only on reels of photographic contact paper. The SAMA system uses robotic video cassette reformatting technologies to digitize the over 500,000 television and video items in the collections. Robotic production is part of the Packard campus's design for greater efficiency to preserve more materials faster and at higher standards of quality. The IRENE system, developed by scientists at Lawrence Berkeley Laboratories, uses digital imaging technologies to generate high-resolution digital maps of grooved recordings, allowing preservationists to reconstruct sound from deteriorating or broken discs. Digitization is not only an end to itself, it's also a preservation strategy, a way to rescue works off of decaying media. In addition to digitizing analog media, we also transfer audio and video content off of CDs and DVDs using systems that create ISO images that replicate the exact structure of the contents on these discs. Library acquisitions include born digital content, content that has always been digital, never analog. The center acquires born digital content in three ways. First, through the intake of digital files coming in on physical media. Second, through direct file submission via high bandwidth internet or satellite receivers. And finally, through live capture systems. This latter approach will dramatically increase the acquisition of unpublished audiovisual transmissions 
through live capture of off-air, off-satellite, and internet web audiovisual content. Live capture will take place in a room designed for the concurrent capture of up to 264 program channels. The destination for all these digital files is the Packard Campus Data Center. Every night, an interface utility in the data center servers reaches up into the over 40 affiliated computers and encoders in the preservation production rooms and pulls down all of the digital files created during that day. The files pass through the data center in a series of processing steps to final storage on enterprise-level robotic data tape storage libraries. Each file is constantly checked for errors and its integrity is verified. When analog collection items are digitized, access copies are created from the originals. Each copy of a digital file can be duplicated with no loss of quality. The original version of each file, the preservation master file, is preserved and stored securely away so it cannot be altered. For access files, as standards change, the center can generate new, up-to-date copies in any format from the high-quality original master files. The center was created to expand with the volume of new collections that come into it and to meet the unforeseeable needs of emerging technologies. We're doing something on a scale that the Library of Congress has never done before. By keeping current with the technology, the Packard campus will continue to preserve its expanding digital collections for future generations to appreciate. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.